everyone. This is my um, paper bag mini that I said I wasn't going to make because I wasn't too happy with what I was seeing. Although they were decorated really cute, I kind of just didn't like the floppiness of them. But what I ended up doing was um, where the pockets are, I actually, um, on the edges of them, I adhesive the sides shut. So now the pockets are smaller. I mean, they're the same size, but they don't open up real big and wide. Um, and I think it made it a little tighter, which is what I was hoping for. So I'm happy with it. Um, the paper flower is from Rose, and I will pose a link. It's not from Rose, but the idea was from Rose. Um, she has a lot of cute little things. Um, and the this is a wooden flower and leaf that I got from Blue Moon Beads, and the ball chain is from Tim Holtz. I did crackle um, medium on the the word family and painted over it, crackled really nice. It was really my first time um, doing something bigger like that, and uh, I put glossy accents over it. And um, The binding is the other thing that I did a little different. It's just um, cardstock. Uh, Glimmer misted it and punched it with Mar Martha Stewart punch, but on the back of it, about every eighth of an inch, I used my uh, my scoring blade, and it folds a lot nicer. So I like that. Um, if you try that, I wouldn't put on the binding until after you're done decorating because it is a little tighter than I wanted it to be because I put it on a little bit too soon. And the ring is doesn't really do anything. I just put it on there so that I could um, put my ribbons and my um, flower on the front. So, um, First page is a pocket, one of Marion's pockets that I just stuck on there. Almost all the paper in here is uh, die cuts with a view, either from the rustic stack or from the once upon a time stack. Um, this flower is actually from a bunch of flowers, um, but they're the real expensive ones that they have at Michael's. But they put all the hydrangea fall bushes like 70% off. So um, I just bought one and took it apart, and they're really nice flowers. They're flocked and everything, so it's really pretty cool. Uh, the leaves are from a Cricut machine, and this is like a glass button. You don't usually find the flat ones. In the glass buttons just the shank but I found these at Joann's I really like it and this is from Kane Company I tried to put a word on every page this page is believe um, and then these tags are from uh, a tutorial that Wheezy did uh, with homemade shimmer paints and torn paper so I will put a link to Wheezy's site I don't think I have the link to the exact thing but you can find them on her site um, and then this page says dream. These letters are from uh, Fiskers, and if you do each one individually, it actually looks like it's handwritten. So I really like those. And then um, this is just an acetate cover. It came already with the design on it. This is from Kane Company, the swirl, and I just glimmer missed it a little bit and did some stamping at the bottom, and you can stick a picture behind there. I haven't decided if I'm giving this away yet or not. I kind of really like the way it turned out, so I haven't decided, but I do now have two fall albums. So This is Love Adage Ticket from Tim Holtz, and um, this envelope is I made on my Cricut machine, and actually I turned it around backwards and, and folded the flap the opposite way, and then it's stamped with a um, Stampin' Up! background stamp. Um, it's a lace can't think of the exact name for it. Um, and the ticket is, or the tag is from, I can't think of the name right now, I'll think of it later, um, from their laundry line. Uh, my Mind's Eye laundry line. Um, and then just some more designer paper on the back of it. And then um, this page, this is an envelope. Um, if you saw my video on the um, wedding uh, things that I bought on clearance, the invitations that I got on clearance. This is, I placed one on top of this and then uh, 
sprayed through it um, both color wash and glimmer mist and I really like the way it turned out but the top was kind of curved because I ended up getting it so wet so I just um, put all these prima flowers on the top and put a little bling in the center and I think it came out really cute and then it holds this portfolio and the paper on it is from Can Company. I think it's from the Ancestry line. I'm not positive. Sorry for my phone. Um, and I use the Adore stamp and this is um, actually a chipboard uh, face plate that I um, embossed with gold. And then um, same thing inside. This page, um, I cut out one of the corners and put it on top of the corner that's already there to make a pocket. And I use glossy accents, and if you see it in person, it really looks like um, embossed leather. It really came out kind of neat. These tags are from Marie. Um, I will post a link. It's from her um, Pretty Paper Boutique. I bought some of those from her. I really like them. She tea stains them and, and stamps them herself really nice. And then this is just actually a white daisy bunch of flowers that I took apart and I sprayed it with purple color wash and celery color wash. And then it has um, a Heidi Swap um, brad with a, just a little acrylic charm that I got at Michael's. And the leaves again are from my Cricut with um, beauty and glitter. And then the word smile is a rub-on from my mind's eye. And then this is uh, Thickers. It was white, and I embossed it with gold. And I got a bunch of these um, cards and stuff from a, a site, and I will post that where she lets you download them and print them out free of charge. So I thought that was really neat. Um, this I left just with the paper because it was so pretty. Um, this ribbon is from Joann's. It's like um, embroidered. It's really kind of cool. And then just a tag that I made. And um, this other was just a raw chipboard. Um, and I distressed it and then stamped on it. Put some ribbons on it. This is supposed to be a photo wallet. Um, but I thought, okay, what can I do to put it in my album? So after I folded it and made all the little That's pockets from folding it, I um, uh, cut it in half. So this is just like one half of the photo wallet. And normally it would be folded in half, but um, it holds three tags. So I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and then it says cherish. Uh, this is making memories. And this is a Bow Bunny stamp that I uh, stamped in brown and then a clear emboss. And really it's just enough room to put the date on it. And then when I, so when I put a picture underneath it, I can just put the date, maybe the person's name also. Um, and then this again is just a flower that I took apart and um, uh, glimmer misted uh, with suede, I think. And the other flower is... Um, got UD and uh, brown glitter on it and then the the charm is from the um, blue moon beads and then this is just for my ticket punch and the letters for play are from Martha Stewart's uh, alphabet and this is another one of the cards I got from that side that has all the vintage stuff on it and this flower Arlene talks about how to do this um, I already had had the um, paper clips and I thought what a cool idea. Uh, the clips actually have a, a decoration on the top but you can pop it right off and then um, it leaves the backing which you can stick something to. So I did these flowers and again sprayed them with the celery um, color wash. And this one I really left kind of plain. It's just got a gold dragonfly stamped on it and this is um, some vellum that has autumn leaves on it and um, a couple more of the vintage tags that I got from the site. Thanks for watching. Um, I know I didn't show all the tags that I made but I keep running out of time so hopefully this time I won't have run out of time.